Hello and welcome to this episode of Tech in Style. Today I would like to share with you an amazing top tip which Spode here gave me. Last week my internet was extremely intermittent and I was having loads of problems loading all my YouTube videos and Spode gave me this incredible top tip, Spode. So the, the problem we had was with wireless interference. Um, you know, if you go back a few years where wireless was uh, quite a rarity in a household, now it's very much a commodity. I mean, um, when you've got your wireless router, you might also have, you know, you tether your mobile phone as a wireless hotspot, and you've got your MiFi mm. devices. You've got, you could have more than one wireless hotspot per house. And when you're in a busy neighborhood, and modern wireless networks can penetrate quite some distance, um, it means that you're battling against all of these other wireless networks to make sure that your signal's getting across. And that's exactly what was causing the problem at Bethan's house. So what we did was download an app called Wi-Fi Analyzer and walked around the house uh, carrying my phone <laughs> and uh, checked for which channel was best to use. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, there's, there's quite a few different apps that do this. I mean, in fact, you don't even have to use your phone. I like it just because you can move around the whole place. Um, but you can get um, an app called Insider for the PC, mm. which is in SSIDER. Um, and it basically shows a graph of all the different wireless hotspots, how strong that signal is and what channel they're on. So you want to avoid the strongest signal. So if there's a really strong wireless signal on channel three, avoid it. Um, and, and you do get a bit of a, um, a crossover as well. So if something's strong on channel three, channels two and four are worth avoiding as well because you get a bit of a blur over the lines, so you want to try and get as far away from that as possible. In our case, um, I think you were on six, and uh, there, there was someone else on six, actually on six, that yeah. was quite strong. So I think we moved you up to uh, to nine, channel nine. Channel nine. And, um, and yeah, much, much more stable after that, wasn't it? So much more stable. It's literally like revolutionized my internet experience. Everything is running so much more smoothly now. Mm. I didn't, you know, I. It's such a simple trick and I'd, I'd never heard of it before and I don't know mm. how many people know well, about it. A lot it, of people don't even log into their router control panels. I mean, you've got these one button touches now so that if you want to connect to your, to your router, so you never really log in. But if you read the manual for, for the router that you've got, I mean, we had to go through a web interface in the, in, in the browser into the advanced settings and it was pretty easy. We just changed the channel. Um, and, and, and saved it and see what happened. So if you're having any problems with your wireless connection, then maybe this is the problem and you should go and check your router and change the channel. And if this has worked for you, do sign on to the forum and let us know your experiences. Absolutely, we'd love to know. And if you'd like to see any future episodes or find out any more top tips, then please subscribe on YouTube or iTunes. We'll see you later. Next episode, we'll just have two cats sitting here. <laughs> Just like licking themselves. <laughs>